already now, election or not, you can see that there is a sort of discrepancy between the Turkish political narrative, uh, where uh, things have gone more nationalistic, uh, more anti-West, anti-Europe, and Turkey's fundamental interest. Turkey's security anchor is NATO. Turkey's economic anchor, trade, investment, technology, is the EU. There's no escape, and there is no alternative for Turkey. Uh, so you have this sort of dichotomy between the political narrative, the inclinations of the president or the ruling party, and this heated debate, and, and Turkey's interests. So what we don't know is how the elections might produce or not something that allows for a reconciliation between these two divergent uh, trends. For the first time in 12 years, uh, it's a more contested, more heated election. Uh, we have 12 years of single party rule in Turkey, the AKP, and for the first time, under some circumstances, we may end up with something different. Uh, so it's a very uh, challenging election. Uh, all the more so that it is more than just uh, voting for members of parliament, but also there is looming in the background a change in the constitution. It's more than a legislative election in the sense that clearly the president wants a, an executive presidency, therefore a constitutional change for which he needs a certain number of seats in parliament uh, and for which he's personally uh, involved in the campaign, which uh, his opponents say uh, is contrary to the Constitution. At the moment, given the opinion polls, it's very difficult to say uh, whether uh, the ruling party will make it uh, to the qualified majority that you need to pass the constitutional change with a referendum, or even if they will make it to have a single party government, as they did for 12 years. So uh, you have two uncertainties there. Then uh, this is happening against the background where for the past two years, since the Gezi protest and the corruption allegation in 2013, rule of law has been rolled back. Uh, so from an EU point of view, uh, you are already in a worrying situation. Dependence of the ju judiciary, freedom of the press, uh, role of the civil society, all that uh, is important to the EU and has been challenged in the past uh, couple of years, but has been challenged during this election uh, campaign. So the uh, results of uh, these elections are expected with great interest in the EU.